know, tell me about the time you recorded your cast avatar. Where were you and how did you celebrate? Yeah, so we were actually filming at my house um, a, a music video that I did. And that same day, um, I had been auditioning back and forth for like, I think a few weeks at that point. And they called a last minute meeting. And so um, I like ran inside and it was like nighttime. It was like almost nine, I think. And I was like, oh gosh, okay, I got to get myself ready. You know, it's another audition or something. And so I got on the call and they told me that it was Avatar and that it was for Katara and um, that I had got the role. And I, I remember just, you know, sinking into my hands and bawling my face off. <laughs> and my parents were doing the same right beside me. And it, it's just so surreal, you know. Well, you know, I'm so excited. I got to watch the episodes and you're so good. And it's so good because, you know, I grew up watching it and to see it in live action be told beautifully, um, you know, were you a fan of, of the series prior to auditioning? Um, have you caught up with all the uh, content if you have, if you just started being a fan? Yeah, I was a huge fan before I got cast. Um I remember when I found out that they were going to be doing a live action, I jumped on it with my team and was like, you know, keep an eye out for this. This is like the top thing that I want. And like, um, so I, I knew that they were going into live action and that it could be a possibility um, for me to play Katara. And when it actually came around, I, I it was just, it was crazy to me. I didn't actually think I would get here you know yeah well you're so good and I love that I love hearing the stories that you guys actually had Bender boot camp like <laughs> yeah you actually had training a month before filming how was that experience what and how did that like are you still kind of doing these movements randomly as well and like what was the experience <laughs> in um Bender band camp in camp <laughs> yeah uh it was definitely an experience um I think it was a much more like challenging for me rather than the, like Ian and Dallas because they're already so um well versed in in martial arts but yeah for me I'd never gone through anything like that so to be in training you know every day practicing the same things and getting my body used to them it was it, it was a challenge for me but I feel like it helped me feel closer to Katara because um, like we were going through the same journey at the same time. So like while we're going through the um, her mastering her element, so was I in a sense, you know, like as filming went on. Um, yeah. But I mean, as of now, I'd like to get back into doing Tai Chi and, and, and Wushu and stuff. Um, but it's just been so long since even filming. So. I'm, I hope to get back into it soon. Yeah, well, you know, when developing your character, you know, Katara, you know, there's so much, she's a complex character. And, you know, she's a teenager going through these emotions. You know, was there anyone that you drew inspiration from when developing her? Mm. Well, I mean, I, I tried to focus a lot of my attention on, um, Katara from the cartoons, you know, um, I, I think it was important for me to to go through her stuff and like see how she would react in, to certain things and like how she would be with with also taking my own like spin on the character, I guess, you know. And I feel like looking back, I um, especially as as we were going on filming I got more comfortable in making my own decisions for her character and stuff like that just because of um getting used to it you know getting comfortable and in the environment as well yeah well you guys are like the about the same age too when you started and then you know growing up and you know she grows up really fast like you know she lost losing her mother and her father leaving the village and leaving them in charge you know she's also gifted in water bending but you know struggles with these powers you know what 
gives her the strength to continue to practice her powers? And what does she hope to achieve with these, with this goal? I feel like it's, it's a mix of a bunch of things, but um, it's like in her core, it's, it's who she is, you know, it's something that um, she was gifted with, you know, and she knows the power that it can hold. And I feel like it's almost like a, um, to prove to herself, not like, let alone the people that doubted her, you know, it's to prove to herself that this is something that she can do and she can master. And, and it's a way for her to be, um, interactive too. Like, um, she's a, like, she's a warrior. This is a part of their culture. It's like, it's so imp important and embedded in who she is. So it, I do think it, I feel for her, like, um, watching those scenes or rereading the scripts and stuff, like, I feel the importance of it when I, when I see those things, you know, um, well, but yeah, well, it's, it's so great. Cause you, you could feel it in the, in your character too, of what she's go going through and you really dig deep and, you know, you were first cast when you were 14. And, you know, and began filming at 15. Now you're 17, approaching 18. You know, what would you say you learned about yourself as an actress, as a person during your time filming and even post-production and just waiting um, to, to it, for it to finally be released with the promotions now? Yeah, um, I definitely learned a lot about myself through this experience. Um, I think even when you watch the show, you can see me get more comfortable in the character um but I, I think I think honestly it's just a uh a, a growth period for anyone at that age and um I feel like it's inevitable to change from being 14 to 17 coming on 18 it, it makes me a little nervous but um yeah I think you're bound to change at that age and I I've learned a lot about um being more comfortable and like kind of knowing my place almost or like or being comfortable in in the situation that I'm in you know um just because it's so like mind-boggling to me even still um but yeah yeah well no and it's great because like there's a gentleness in the way you play her, you know, and as it starts off, you know, she's unsure and everything. And, but then as she goes on, she gets a little bit of strength and it's amazing to see and uh, to see you grow as an actress as well. Um, and the series tells the first chapter, the series tells the first chapter of Aang and, you know, his companions and the friends and hopefully more seasons to follow. Um, but is there a scene in the an animation that you were like, I really want to do this scene. I really hope we do this scene um, mm -hmm. and that you were able to achieve or a scene that you hope to do in the future? Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think a scene that I hope to do in the future is... Um, Definitely the 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 Hama stuff and like the blood bending and like that that whole arc um, that I think that'd be so fun to tackle um, like as an actor too. Yeah, so um, the episode when we're in the spirit world, um, I I know that in the original Katara never got to go to the spirit world, and that was one of the things that. Um, that I was just so excited. Like when I read that I got to be in the spirit world, I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I can't wait to film it. And like still episode five is like one of my favorites. And um, yeah, that was just one that I was like, so happy to be there. <laughs> well, I have to say, like, I always ask this question to everyone. Um, you know, when, and because we're the Nerds of Color, we really love, love to see ourselves. And I was wondering when was the first time that you kind of saw yourself on TV where you saw your identity being portrayed? Hmm. Um, wow. I don't think I have an answer ready for that. <laughs> I don't know. I, have, I haven't got that question before. Um, 
but I, I'm not sure if this is like the same thing, but I don't think it really settled in that um, that it was actually me on, on screen, like being this character until um, like even recently, like I, the, the more stuff I see, the more like watching the show, the episodes, and then like seeing posters and things like that it's it's like still hitting me every every single thing that comes out is like wow that's that's me um but yeah those moments are just so like they they kind of they have they leave me stumped a little yeah no and it's it's wonderful because I love reading about your upbringing um and how much you studied to bring like these characters, you know, not just Anne with the E, um, but also Beans, and now with Katara, you know, do you feel a closer connection to your heritage as you prepare for these roles? Mm. Um, I mean, I'm extremely close to my my uh, traditions and my culture. I think I'm grateful for that all all the time. Um, but. I do think that it's something that comes with me through every uh, project that I do and with every character that I play. It's something that I'll always have with me and it's embedded in in my DNA, my my personality, my, just who I am. Um, and I'm grateful to be able to bring that wherever I go. Yeah. And, you know, we are beginning to see more Native American and Indigenous stories being told um, and characters come to life on TV with with Avatar and and then film, you know, with Lily Gladstone's up for Academy Award, you know, Amber Midthunder, who is also an Avatar, you know, is in, Prey, uh, you know, with her award winning Prey, um, Reservoir Dogs, Echo. And, you know, there's just, do you feel like your generation, you know, with, with your generation, the tides are turning in terms of telling more Indigenous stories? Or do you feel like there's still more work to be done regarding this? Yeah, I think I honestly I have, I have my my foot in both sides. I think um, to see the upbringing of all this representation is is so amazing to see as an indigenous person. I think even the um, the sh the show business now in in this day and age and this year even um compared to when I was little like I wasn't seeing things like this and it's so beautiful to to finally see and hear native voices being heard and to have that seat at the table finally is it's so important and and we do have so many stories to tell and and we are such a funny people and and the world has been missing out and um I think there's even more um, boundaries to push. I think there's always going to be more room for um, more representation. And um, that's just for, that's for uh, us to fight for, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's amazing. And, you know, I'll be really quick because I know you have to get going for press throughout the whole time. <laughs> You know, and you know, when Avatar the Last Airbender animated series was was created before you were born yeah. <laughs> and two thousand five. And you know, it's a cultural phenomenon, especially among Asians and Native Americans and indigenous, since the characters are based on our culture in the cultures. You know, when did it hit you that this uh series is bigger than you've ever imagined? It's still hitting me. <laughs> no, I I think a, a real eye opener was um, when we went to Brazil to do. Um, I'd never seen uh, fans in real and in, in person, um, like on a scale like that. So that was very um, eye opening and just incredible. Um, and I think, I think like with the trailer dropping and with the countdown started you know and it, it's still hitting me for sure <laughs> well and then last question you know we've all taken the bender test you know we've we 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 on either on like buzzfeed or on different places or even netflix's own bender test 
Can you tell me what your results showed? You know, is there another element that you were closely associated with? What was your bender? So every interview, I've been saying that I was an air, a water bender for sure. And like, I associated myself with water, but I took the test and I got earth bending. Okay. So, yeah, but I mean, I'm a Taurus. I'm a earth sign. Um, you know, maybe that's where it stems from. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much. Um, have a great rest of the time, rest of your day. And I look forward to meeting you and talking to you more later in the future. And hopefully, and congratulations on everything. Thank you so much. It's been nice talking to you. Nice today. talking to you. Thank you. The activist directors, comments and the lectures, fanboys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard knock life. Comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play, so check this.